Hi, I'm Paul Aldridge. Welcome to Australasia and Bus and Coach TV. I'm here in St Mary's at Custom Bus. What we have here is the Custom Denning Element. This is an all-electric bus. It's a first for Australia and it's a first for Custom Bus. Look, I'm going to show you the inside and the outside of the bus today. But before we do, let's go and check out the rear componentry and the electrical system. Let's go. Okay, so here we are at the rear of the bus. You can see that this one's still in production, but it's pretty much finished. This is a charging port. It takes only five hours from dead flat to full charge. We've got batteries here, we've got batteries here. We have batteries in the top of the bus. Now we've seen this, let's go and take a look inside the bus. So hey, here we are in the interior of the bus, and I must say that they've done an outstanding job. Everything you see in this bus is new and remanufactured or designed just for this bus. They haven't used anything over from any of their old buses. It's absolutely outstanding. I love the color choices, the wood grain timbers on the floor to the fabric on the seats. It's just something that I haven't seen before. And even these orange handrails, I really like the orange handrails. I think they've done a really nice job. Visibility for passengers is fantastic in here. But the head height, the head height, I'm, I'm stretching to touch the roof. It's, it's amazing. And having a flat floor all the way through, that's just an added bonus, like no step. You know, you can walk all the way to the rear without having a step. I think they've just done a great job. So now let's go and check out some exterior parts of the bus. Let's go. What they've done here in the rear of the bus, all the panels on here are alloy. They've gone away from composite fiberglass or plastics and everything is alloy. And that really drops the weight down. It keeps it more rigid as well, the bus more rigid. Um, and they've done a great job. I really believe they've done a great job. They've incorporated um, the same tail lights that they, they've used previously on previous models, but with that, that round, the cut edge on there. And I think that's a great design. You've got your foot pegs here. In case of emergency, you can push out the glass or smash the glass, but you've got some nice access to get it out of the rear bus if there was an emergency. The mirrors on, on, on the element here, they're absolutely great. I, I just think that the visibility in these mirrors will be outstanding. You can just tell straight away. Um, I've sat in the driver's seat. The blind spot here, excellent. You can see right down here the side of the bus. I, I think that's a really good design. A lot more people should be implementing better blind spot mirrors, especially when cars are getting lower and lower and smaller. I think that's a great, great thing to have. Um, the front of the bus. This is probably one of the outstanding features of this bus. It just looks totally different than anything that I've seen. But they've done a really nice job of design. I don't know if it, maybe it's got something to do with the colour choice that they've, they've done, but it just looks really impressive. It looks European, but it's Australian built. It's all Australian bus. But one thing I'm really itching to do now is get in here and take it for a drive. So I think it's time. Let's go for a drive. So I've just jumped behind the wheel of the custom denning element. And I must say, this bus is very, very smooth. Being an electric bus, I'm waiting for, for all these noises, but there's, there's, no, there's no noises. Just come up to the roundabout and I'm not even touching the brakes. The regen on this bus is, is really well sorted out. You can just feel it straight away that it doesn't pull up really f too fast. It just seems like it knows what, what to do. Steering, the electric steering in here, it's brilliant. It feels really tight and, and predictable. The quietness, the quietness of the bus. You know, we're, we're sitting on 60 kilometers an hour. We're on a very smooth bit of road. It's 
the wipers I can hear. I can just hear the wipers. We've got a bit of rain out there and all I can hear is the wipers. Now I'm putting the wipers up really fast and it's the wiper noise that's annoying you. you you've got no diesel sounds anymore, you know, with the electric. Within a diesel motor, you, you've got so many outside noises that are coming in. We hear it. You can hear just a little bit of tire noise and you know, I can hear the door with the wind blowing just a little bit, you know, the rubbers moving around. It's great. So smooth. One thing this bus has, and, and it is a standard feature on the bus, is lane departure warning. Would a route bus really need lane departure warning? Possibly not, but if it's a standard feature that, that custom are going to put in their buses, why wouldn't you have it on your bus? It's another safety feature and I think it'd be very welcome. I can actually see that this bus will be well received with operators. Um, you know, you've got 43 seats, you've got 24 standees, there's two, two wheelchair accessible areas for wheelchair access. This is a whole new design for, for, for the element, being an electric bus. Um, visibility here for, as a driver is great. Um, I can't see any problems as a driver, but what's really nice is the LCD control panel here uh, showing you everything that's going on, your charge, um, how much power you're using, your speedometer, what gear, you're, you're in drive, you're in reverse, you're in neutral. It's very easy to read, but it's very modern at the same time. I haven't seen anything like this, this display before. The dark colours in here I really like. If you're, you're driving in a hot summer's day and it's sunny and you've got a really light coloured dash area, that glare can be really tiring on the eyes by the end of the day. If you're doing a full roster run, that can be very tiring. But these colours here, or lack of colour, is very appealing to me. I, I really like it. So there we are. We've spent the best part of the day driving the custom Denning Element. And I must say, it's been an outstanding drive. I say that a lot about a lot of buses, but this is really, really well put together. This is their first electric bus, but saying that, custom aren't strangers to building buses. That's what they do. Look, if you want to find out more about this bus, please go and grab a copy of the ABC Mag, and we'll see you on the next one. I'm really looking forward to it.